everyone. Happy, happy Tuesday. We hope you're doing well today. Welcome to Oak and Lane. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to be here with us live. How are you all doing? We'll take some time and let some people flow on in who got those notifications. If you didn't get a notification, make sure you have those turned on. You can be sure to subscribe down below and click that bell to get notified. And then sometimes you even have to go to your device settings and allow notification on the YouTube app. Uh, that will ensure that you will get either an email or a little notification straight from the app to let you know that we're live because you don't want to miss these lives. You really don't. Uh, if you are brand new here, my name is Rachel Langston and the voice that you will hear, I don't think she's talked yet. She's just smiling. It's Becca Oaks, and we are both owners and craft educators here at Oak and Lamb, and we're so happy that you're here today. Good morning. Yes, good morning. <coughs> Hi from Chile, New Hampshire. Good morning from Georgia. Hi, Becca and Rachel. Hi, Miss Shirley. How are you, Becca, and families? Becca, how are how is your family? Amazing. Amazing. We are going to do... A super fun craft today super fun super simple super easy um, we're gonna make a resin tray with some dried pressed flowers we've had these flowers going on a year maybe six months at least a long time uh, with the hope of doing something like this and Becca was so kind as to grab me a tray from Hobby Lobby was this on sale or full price full price this is six bucks so you're really doing fine. You know, I think it was full price because when I went, they were doing inventory in our store, and I feel like most of the things were full price, which was odd to me. That is weird. I know. So we're using epoxy resin today. Yes. A, B, mix them together, that type of resin. Which we haven't done here at Oak and Lamb for you all before. We've, we, Rachel's a pro with a, B, but we love UV resin so much, we've sort of put this on the back burner and yeah. wanted to bring it to you all because we get lots of questions about it. I feel yes. like, Rachel, you can correct me if I'm wrong, this is a great beginner project because you're not dealing with like the rotation of a tumbler and, and all of that sort of. I completely agree. Yeah. You are mixing equal parts, pouring it in here. It's a nice flat tray. We're not doing anything fancy like Becca said. It's going to be a nice thin coat. You don't have to worry about like making a tabletop or something crazy like right. that. This is a really great beginner simple project for uh, people who want to learn how to use AB or epoxy type resin. Now one thing I'm going to go ahead and preface before anything is please use your own personal protection, whatever you want to use. I'm going to be using gloves. I cannot wear a mask or a respirator and also teach you guys how to do it. But just know I've done this for years. We're in a well ventilated studio and we are being safe. Make sure that you are being super safe too. Go outside if you can. Um, all that good stuff. So we're using this amazing clear cast resin. It is pretty much our favorite like run-of-the-mill AB part resin. It's pretty clear. It doesn't yellow that bad over many, many years. And the bubbles are minimal. It's a, it's a really good, nice resin, and it's not super expensive. So we usually get ours off of Amazon, or most craft stores do carry this brand. Now, why are we using AB or epoxy resin versus UV resin? Well, UV resin is much more expensive for much less volume. Uh, not to knock, knock on it. We use it constantly. But for something of this magnitude you would not want to waste one whole bottle of uv resin for this so mm -hmm. this projects like this is absolutely phenomenal to use epoxy resin with so that's why we're using epoxy resin today uh our dried flowers becca did we get these off of amazon you did Etsy? amazon do you mean to link them i i can link them you can link them i'm okay. gonna link everything afterwards okay. we've been doing some Super fun stuff this morning. Yes. And time got away from us in the best way ever. Tell her what we did. Tell them what we, we did. We filmed <clears throat> our very first episode of our new podcast, Flock Talk, today. Ah. And tell them when they will be able to see it and where they'll be able to see it. You'll see it Saturday, right here. Right here. Right on here YouTube. on YouTube. Right on YouTube. Yes. Yep. Which is super exciting. So definitely stay tuned to check it out. Again, we're starting our official, unofficial, tentative new little tryout schedule type thing for YouTube. So that includes our new podcast, which is so fun. So we do hope you, you enjoy that. We'll have a lot, uh, a lot of those videos to come to help you guys get to know us better and just get be entertained and hear us laugh and all that good stuff. So I got these off of Amazon and this is from Hobby Lobby, our tray. We're gonna be using something. You guys are gonna kind of come along the journey with us. 
to be able to place our dried flowers to the base of this tray and glue, glue them down or stick them down enough to where our resin will not push them aside. Because you can lay your flowers down here and they'd be perfect on the tray, but as soon as you start pouring your epoxy resin, those flowers are gonna move on you because of course the flowers are so basically like paper thin and so light. So it's just gonna move with that uh, dense resin. Uh, so we're gonna do that. I have Loctite spray and some Gorilla Glue here and we're just gonna like see what works best. That way you guys at home can um, find what works for you as well. We have a lighter to pop bubbles. You can also use some um, rubbing alcohol if you wanna do that. I either works just as well in my opinion. Uh, AB part resin does create more bubbles. So you will have to babysit this a bit. Uh, AB part resin cures around 12 or 24 hours to fully cured after like 20, 24 hours, but hard about 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours, depending on how thick or how thin your layer is and all that good stuff. You know, temperature around you, there's a lot of factors that go into it. So as it sets and cures, unlike UV resin, which can cure in 30 seconds out in the sun, it's gonna take a long time, meaning it's gonna give more time for the bubbles that are down in the tray to rise up. So as they're rising, you need to babysit this about every hour or so and come back and see if you can pop some of those bubbles that have risen to the surface as it's curing. That's gonna allow you to get a really nice, smooth, um, bubble-free layer. Because you're mixing parts together, you're, you're incorporating air into that epoxy. So do expect some bubbles in this when you first pour it. Also have some gloves and some reverse tweezers. These are super important for something like this when you're dealing with such delicate things like these pressed flowers. Um, yeah, I might make Becca come over here and help me place some of these because her eyes so much better at stuff like this than, than mine is. Um, okay. Really quickly, Shauna mentioned that yeah. it's really easy to press your own flowers. It absolutely is. Yes. And when, one thing that I've seen, and I'll try to share it, um, is someone took their wedding bouquet and oh, pressed yes. them and created a wall art piece similar to this, but it was like clear kind of all the way through. And I think that is so cool to be able to like use preserve that as decor that. forever yeah. and preserve it that yeah. way. Yeah. It was gorgeous. I dried mine out, hanging it upside down. And now it's just like collecting dust on a shelf yeah. when it could be like displayed on the wall beautifully. Beautiful, so, yeah. But it's super easy, yeah, to press your flowers. Uh, look up a little tutorial on it, but really you just want to, usually between like parchment paper or something, smush it down and then put something heavy weighted on top of it. And as the moisture leaves the flower, it will press down and dry even flatter. So we bought ours, you can make yours, but of course the process is much, much longer. Now, something I want to mention about trays like this is you need to be careful with painting or staining things like this, especially around the bottom and the edges, because unfortunately, trays like this or plaques that you buy, these are glued together. And if I were to stain this, you would see on the edges where that glue was because the stain would not take on that glue. So that is why I did not stain this. You can paint this if you want to. I'll probably be painting the outside because to be honest, I think the natural wood looks really pretty on the inside. I was here yesterday contemplating painting it or not. And I don't think I'm gonna paint the inside. I like the way it looks, but I think I'm gonna paint this outer lip a really bright, fun color, just like a little accent. Because honestly, in the grand scheme of things, when we make projects, we wanna make them that we would keep in our own home. And I'm not a huge fan of color, so I like the natural wood look with all those colorful flowers. And then like I said, I might take a, like a mustard yellow or a light blue and paint this ring around it, one of those colors, after it's cured. Because you can absolutely paint the majority of this after it's cured as well. So whatever you wanna do, if you wanna paint it before or after, totally up to you, whatever you wanna do. If your wood in your tray or whatever you're using is not perfectly smooth, you can get a sanding block or some sandpaper, really fine grit and smooth that down. But ours is very smooth. So the only thing we need to do right now is to honestly get our flowers out and put them on the table and arrange them where we want to on this tray. Now I'm not going to be gluing these down right now because I just wanna see where they're gonna go. I wanna see where I like them, where I want them to be. And once I get them where I want them, I can pick them up one by one and re-glue them down. So I'm just gonna take these out of the pack. Oh my Lord, these are beautiful. 
Those blue ones are my favorite. Hi, well, hydrangeas or peonies are actually my favorite, but blue hydrangeas, oh, you just can't get better than that. These are gorgeous. So pretty. Uh, we had some comments, <clears throat> can you use silk flowers for this? And I actually took pictures because I thought it would be really fun to share. I'll, I'll do it in the private Facebook group. Um, the scrapbook aisle at Hobby Lobby has like, like a huge section of flat flowers that you can use for scrapbooking that would work really, really well for these. So they're uh, synthetic flowers um, and they're flatter, which is what you want. You don't want them with like a big, um, what's that, the stem part, but what's it actually called? Stalk. Stem, yeah, kinda. because it wouldn't lay flat. So yeah. you don't want that. to move this so we can see good these are just gorgeous oh thank you Becca. you're welcome beautiful and this is one of my downfalls guys i'm not a very delicate person and you have to be so delicate with these just be easy beautiful now we'll get our last one Open it up, and I'm keeping these little bags to hopefully be able to slip these back into, but one thing I'm kind of loving about whoever packaged these is they packed them like on a piece of paper with a piece of clear paper like protecting them. These are stunning. So you just have to be delicate with that. I love all the greenery in these too. Okay. So now you're going to just... Just work with it. Set these where you want to. Grab a pair of reverse tweezers and we're just going to start placing. But again, after laying these down, when this lip, I'll probably put painter's tape down here and paint this top lip around the side like a really fun color. I think that would be beautiful. I'm just going to get a couple, start laying them down from different packs. I think the name of the game here is to... If you're a more random placement type person, this would be like ideal for you. If you uh, prefer things to look a little bit more uniform, I think this is one thing that we have to work through in creating something like this is that it really doesn't need to be uniform. It needs to be, it needs to look natural and random. Let me get some of this green. Oh, this is. Are you gluing them down already? Sorry, I wasn't paying no, attention. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm just placing them where I want them first. Cause I might move some stuff around. Let me see. I like this greenery too. Down here. Do you say peony or peony? I say peony. I can never decide what it is. So like sometimes I'll say it one way and sometimes I say it another. It's very, oh my gosh, this is going to be the cutest thing ever. I just looked up. It's adorable. And I told them, I said, if I put some painter's tape down here, paint this rim and around the side, like a really fun mm -hmm. color. I love that. Or stain it or uh, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Ugh. These colors are so beautiful. I actually like that underneath there. I love the random green, like little sprigs. Um, I already told them I might make you come up here and tell me where some of this needs to go. Do you want me to help you? I'll come. I'll come help you, Rachel. Okay. Can you give me some reverse toys? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna scoot that up a bit. Okay. Yeah, go nuts, wherever wherever you think. Oh, oh my gosh, what are these little ones? I don't know if they're, they're beautiful. I love that one too. A little sneak is in a podcast. We might or might not have been talking about things that we're bad at and things that you know we could work on. I don't know. Uh, you'll see. Saturday. Yes. But uh, this is another one of my shortcomings is placing things prettily. Prettily? Prettily, yeah. Have you never heard that? It's because it's not a word. It might be. I don't know. Oh, my Lord, this is gorgeous. Look at this. I know. It's like this look one, too. These. They're so cute. Like, the more I look at them, the more that I see different ones. Yeah. I love it. I don't know. Look I mean, that. honestly, these can just go everywhere and they would be fine. I'll, this greenery is my favorite. This I, do, I like it, too. He's beautiful. Um. But they are literally, guys, they are so delicate. Oh, my word, are Ooh, they this delicate. this is beautiful. Yeah, move some stuff around for him. I'm going to move this down because we had too much blue on there. I'm drawn to the blue for some reason. Oh, my gosh, this is so pretty, Rachel. I love it. 
Roll it. Oh, I just Whoa. broke it. Ooh. I broke it. You're fired. That's it. Done with you. What's Guys, I came in today. Our studio, we've talked about it before. It gets ridiculous really quickly because it's small. Uh, well, that's, that's huge. A, another shortcoming we talk about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I came in today and Rachel had cleaned it all and I could have cried. It looked so amazing. It smells so amazing in here. Well, you know, eventually sometimes we just walk in here and I, I planned to do other things yesterday. I, I wondered here, how you did it all. And I saw the state of it, the place in general, is wimpy. And I, I literally said, I can't. I just can't. I can't work in here. So I, <laughs> so I just cleaned. I just cleaned. That's and I pretty. enjoy cleaning. I hate cleaning. I enjoy cleaning. What's your least favorite chore ever? Oh, I know what it is. Laundry. Well, I, you know what I hate more than laundry, I think, Tell is me. I hate cleaning the shower. Well, I'll make James do that, so I can't even say I hate that because I don't even do it. If Wayne does it, he doesn't do it how I want him to, so. Mm. Yeah. It's a problem. This is so cute. Put something really nice right there in oh the middle. Oh, gosh. No pressure, right? Um, Let me see. What color are um, these? This looks like the back. Kind of yellowy. Was that the back? Yeah. Oh, you that. could layer it with that piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cute. I like that. On there. That's cute. See, now I have to pick all these up and glue I know. Them that's down. why I was wondering. Well, but that's okay. Yeah. Because I can do that. Go ahead and go ahead and start doing that. Okay. So here's guys. You guys need to help me because you all are great crafters too. So what I'm wanting to do is, of course, pick up each individual piece of this, and I don't want to glue it down. I just want it to stick enough to where when I pour my resin, it doesn't go everywhere. So we could do a couple a couple of things. I'm gonna let you guys help me. Number one, I could spray Loctite on them, like the back of them, stick them down. Number two, I could use a fast curing Gorilla Top Gel. Or I could mix all of my resin and do a very thin stream and, and knock, like, knock them all out so they won't spread around. Tell me what you guys I want to I honestly think if you do that, that might be fine. Because I could do like a thin little stream all over it to get them kind of... Because here's the thing, Rachel. If it moves down, a little bit, we can always move it back. Move it around? Yeah. I think that I think that might be the way to go. Okay. Do you think this is too big right here? No. What, what answer do you want me to give you? I'll do whatever. I want, um, um, also, here's another worry. This, he doesn't look like a natural color. I'm worried his dye is going to come out. You don't think his dye is going to come out. Do you? There's only one way to find out. Yeah, we're just going to have to find out. Only one way. Clearly, I'm drawn to these blues. Well, they're beautiful. I want that there. Where? This. Do you want me that, to cut that? Yeah. Or we can just put a smaller one there. Like this one. Beautiful. That's cute with that white on it, too. Love it. Okay, do we want to layer it at all or put... Ooh, see. let's try and see if we can layer. We have plenty of white, pitiful color. That's a, a hydrangea. I think we need another one of these blue ones so it doesn't look see, so he out of just place. Into the... I know that's what I was worried about. Maybe you could layer in though. We haven't used any. Oh, we've used one of these red ones. These pink ones. We haven't used these. There's one. One of them. Yeah, I'm putting way too much blue in here, but I love it. This one's my favorite. Together. Well, then move this one. And then put, yeah. This is looking so cute. We need another one of these light blue ones. Even though I just said I'm putting too much blue. <laughs> hey, that's fine. That's fine. Hmm. Use one of those up there. One of what? One of these fellas up there. I like the look of those, though. So pretty. Like kind of layer like that. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. I love that. What should we put on this one? We have white, but we could put another mm. one. What does it need down there? Let me see. This orangey color. It needs this orangey color. Yeah, that's what it needs. Take it. Stop grabbing mine. Take it. Mm. This is pretty. And I, we got three packs. That's what I recommend, honestly, unless you guys have a like a color scheme in mine. I like the the mix of all these yeah, colors. Yeah, me too. 
This is so pretty. It's gorgeous. I love it. I thought my bloody fingers were going to come in handy today. Yeah? They didn't. I'm not looking at comments. Do so I need to be looking at comments? Mm -hmm. No, you're good. Do we only have one purple in here? One of the little like lavender? It. Yeah, the, yeah, we or do. Lilac? Teresa, I've always wanted to make something like this. Well, Teresa, honestly, there's not a lot of money in this. There's really not. Mm -mm. I think overlapping would look great. Yes, Patrice. More is more, right, Becca? Mm -hmm, absolutely. Mm. Lay them all on there. <laughs> Just throw them in. Clearly, I have problems. It's a lot of yellows together. Hey, she are you wearing, what perfume are you wearing? It, this is that Ariana Grande one that I'm obsessed with. It smells good on you, but I smelled it the other day, and I didn't love it, but it smells really good on you. It's Cloud, if you guys want to know. My friend was wearing it, like, two years ago, and I smelled her, and I'm like, I have to go buy that, like, right now. So I had a gift card to Ulta, so I just went and bought it, and I absolutely adore it. It smells so good. You know, I'm not a huge fan of Ariana Grande, but Bush, can she make some perfume? She kind of drives me crazy. But yes, she can make perfume. Look, can you move that yellow one? This one? Mm -hmm. Look at these with little. He's shedding. Oh, oh no. Ruined it. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, he's cute. Right? These are cute. What is this? This is baby's breath, isn't it? I love baby's breath, and Me it too. used to be so inexpensive, but I feel like it's more expensive now since people started using it in huge bundles in their weddings. I had it in my wedding. Shocker, I know. With your jute? With my jute. Mm -hmm. Becca would have just came to my wedding and gagged. No, I just would have eaten all the cupcakes. It would have been fine. Well, that's fine. That's fine um, too. Speaking of that, actually, everything that comes up is sort of like some topics that we have talked about for our podcast, but I want to know like what types of things you all want to hear us talk about, um, on our podcast. It's not craft related, although we can talk craft related things, mm -hmm. but like today's was, um, things we're bad at. We talked about things we were bad at, which is pretty fun. Um, and we like, we have lots of different topics, but I want to know, like, like, we have a really good list, but what do you guys want to see that would entertain you? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's pretty. cute. Love that. Love that. I think we do need one of these other blue ones because there's only one bright blue one. Mm-hmm. Should we, where should we go? Oh, oh, love it. This is looking cute. Oh, my, the more I'm adding, the here. cuter it's getting. Let's put one of these red ones. And this is the fun part. Like, don't overthink it. And please, guys, don't do this on, like, a time crunch. You just need time to be able to do this. Yeah, for sure. I still love these little ones. I want to, like, it'd be interesting to see what these looked like when they weren't squished. Tiny. That's for one. Yeah. Did you want to put them right where I put that one? No, I'm I'm trying to figure out where I want to layer in. We'll put them right here. Love it. This is looking really cute. What are we going to do with this when we're finished? I don't know. This can't be a, a trashed item. <laughs> oh, it's going to the dumpster. Yeah. It's too cute to go in the dumpster. Oh, what? Well, well, it's not terrible. Okay. Okay. Cool. Whatever. You should pick this one. Okay. Where do I get the podcast? Great question. So it's going to be a video podcast here on YouTube. For now. Yeah, for now. And it's scheduled to go out on Saturdays. Uh, maybe some Fridays it'll come out, but right now it's scheduled to come out on Saturdays. Um, yeah, so it's a video podcast here. So you, it'll be us at our set, just chit-chatting about a bunch of things. Um, I love this. Christina said, our first impressions when we first met each other. <gasps> I love that. I do too. I love that. Okay. I think we could talk about that for 20 minutes for sure. Yeah. Um, and then... So we're, we're basically, it's in like the testing stage our podcasts are. So if you guys like them, then what we'll do is we might remove the sound bites and then put them on like where you buy podcasts, like, you know, those different apps. 
but for now they're just going to be like a video diary here on YouTube. So it's going to come out just like a pre-recorded video does. So you guys don't have to go anywhere special. They are recorded, Miss Cheryl. Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah. Now they're recorded, but they're not edited. So, well, I mean, they're edited for the intros, though, but like we don't chop out things that we say uh, for the most part. We just kind of. If we mess up, we mess up. Yeah, pretty much. Which I think is some of the beauty of it is it's like a live where we don't we don't get edited, but it's still pre-recorded to where it's convenient for you guys and it's a bit shorter than lives are. I think we're almost finished. I stole this guy if you wanted to use him anywhere. Where'd you steal him from? I've just had him on my tweezers oh. forever. I think we have plenty of pink in there. I think so too. I think we need something right here. I wish we had more of this orange. Never well, mind. Didn't there give was already us a orange of, right there. They didn't give us a lot of orange though. Um, You said we had plenty. Of, oh, it could be this one. This is like a light pink. Oh, he's pretty. I like the layer. That's. I think we're is. good. Are we good? I don't see any holes. I don't either. Do we need now, I mean, else? you you could slap stuff on here, guys, until you barely can see the the bottom. Which is my tendency. Patrice, this is these are real flowers. Yes, these are real pressed flowers. We got them on Amazon. Uh, you can press them yourself. Or Becca said that there was a question about using silk flowers. You could absolutely do that as well. Um, oh my gosh, Shirley, I think this would be one of the shorter ones because you know us too well. She said, what ideas you had for this studio and if we agree with each other or not for the most part. Um, I, I find myself to be pretty agreeable. Absolutely. Yeah. It's almost annoying. Well, you know. It's because if, if I have a strong opinion on something. She does. She I shares will, it. Yeah, I, I never have to wonder. But if I uh, if I do not have a strong opinion on something, I'm like, whatever you think yeah. is right. <laughs> but I do like that idea. I do too. I could literally just put all these on Susan here. Susan said so you're watching gonna have to you place me. these is really relaxing to me. wonder how much resin this will take. So, Patrice, if you just joined, which I think... Yeah, she said she missed the beginning. We're using epoxy resin, so we're going to be using amazing clear cast for this instead of UV resin uh, to save money because uh, we mentioned in the beginning this would basically take every bit of our uh, epoxy re or, or UV resin. Excuse me. So we're mixing them together and using AB part resin. What do you think, Rach? I mean, you think we're done? I mean, it doesn't really stunning. look. I'm really nervous about you putting that resin on. <laughs> But it's okay. Just I'll do it very carefully. Yeah. I'll do it very carefully. Uh, do I need to treat the silk flowers be before putting it in resin? Mary, I don't know. I'm just going to be completely honest. We haven't used silk flowers I wouldn't think, on this. I wouldn't think so. Yeah. Kat said, was watching you on the phone and put you on the TV. Much prettier on the TV. Kat, are you saying that this looks bad? Is that what you're trying to say? Huh? Uh, but no, Patrice, I mentioned putting some tape around the edge um, and how pretty it would be to paint like this lip around down to the side. I think that would be super pretty. But I'm not a huge color gal, so I like the um, natural look down there. Teresa, this is not a mold. This is a tray. We're just going to leave it in this. So we're not making like... A, like a disc of resin to remove, although you could, but we're just pouring resin in the bottom of this tray to make it like a pretty little decorative tray. But this is wooden, it is. Shirley said, praying they all don't float to the center. Yeah, me too. Me too. Okay, I'm done. I'm done, though. Okay. All right. Becca said she's, quote, done, though. So, now it's time for the resin. Oh, now I see a spot that needs more. Okay. Where was it, though? Hold on. I can only see it overhead. What? It's like right here. Looks like it needs something okay. little. See, we're out we're of We're out of all stuff. the color stuff, yeah. We're out of little stuff. Um, put this, put this right here. Yeah, and then just put it right there. Down here? Yeah, right there. That's perfect. Okay, that makes me happier. How, how do you feel with that? Much better. Oh, much better. 
I'm going to be I'm, able to sleep tonight. I'm so glad that allowed you to, to sleep better. Okay, yeah. next is the resin. So here's what we're going to do. Um, the name of my game right now is to just do a little bit and we'll see how it goes. If I have to mix more, you can mix more. It's not gonna be the end of the world. So I'm gonna fill up these two cups and then uh, mix them in here. Now you could fill them in, in a cup if you have a cup with lines on it. So if you wanna go that route, you absolutely can. So we might do that um, since this does have measurement lines on it. But if you don't, I really love these three ounce cups that I can get from Amazon for like, I don't know, like 500 in a pack or so. And they have these little ridges on there, and I like to fill them up to these ridges, and I usually will pour them into like a solo cup. Huh? What is it? I'm wondering if the Loctite wouldn't be a bad idea now. Well, here's the problem now. The Loctite's going to blow air. Right. But is it is it really strong? You don't have faith in me. <gasps> it's fine. Try it. I don't have faith. I did. I don't. I don't. I, I'm like 60. I think if you, I think if you pour it really <laughs> low to it, like it should be fine. Slow little string. It should That's be fine. Thinking. We're gonna go for it. That way, if it doesn't work out, we can help you guys know what to do next time. And if it does work out, then you, we can save y'all some time. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, so I like to fill these to the ridges and then pour them both in like a solo cup or something like that. But again, this one has. This one has some notches. So there's 40 and then 80. So I'm going to fill it to 40 with one of them and then to 80 with the other, if that makes any sense at all. And then I'll mix them up and then pour them in there. Now, the golden rule with AB part resin is that you need to mix them extremely well. If you mix them good, you should be good to go. Now, it's not a problem, but it's just kind of a side effect. So if you mix really well, which you really should be doing, what happens is you're incorporating air in there. So while you need to mix well, you also need to be paying attention uh, about your bubbles. Now that's why I have said we're gonna have to babysit this for quite a while and make sure that we don't um, leave any bubbles that we could potentially pop because at the, I wanna say at like the six hour mark, this will be cured enough <clears throat> to probably not produce many more bubbles so you only have like one chance to make sure that your your bubbles are out. So up to that mark, and then if you pass that mark, your bubbles might not might not come out, which would be super sad. Okay, I'm gonna clean off this. Check to make sure that was rubbing alcohol, <laughs> just in case. We got this little. This is a mist, like a little spritz bottle from. The Dollar Tree, and I really like it for things like this. Okay, so fill one to 40 and the other to 80. Uh, just country girl said Rachel's a pro. It'll be fine. Oh, gosh, you guys are uh, giving me too much credit. Too much credit. Okay, here we go. Well, that was a glob that I do not want in there. That's what I get for waiting to fill this up. Let me take that glob out. Sometimes that happens if you let your resin set too long. And we most certainly have – I'm going to be careful to take my time here. That's one thing. You really want these measurements to be precise with your resin because if you have more of one than the other, it won't cure properly. And that's a no-no. You want this to cure well. I haven't used AB resin forever. Okay, now that one's sitting pretty right at the 40 mark. So now we're going to fill this one, which is much um, more liquidy to the A. For those asking about gloves, she'll put the gloves on when she mixes. starts mixing it and all that stuff. She's not actually touching it right now. Okay, caps, caps, put your caps on, caps on. Glove time. Yeah, I, I also again to, she did mention it earlier we can't wear a respirator on a live because you would not be able to hear us but yeah. if you are using this then you probably should use a respirator make sure you're in a well ventilated room um, yeah. wear the sure. gloves do all the things the goggles everything that you think will help protect you make sure you do that we get comments all the time about this even though we make comments about it um, yeah yeah, uh, I think the comment, honestly, that bothers me the most is people not watching the whole live where we mention that and them saying we're teaching unsafe habits. That's what bothers me because your all's health is my number one concern. 
Uh, and I would never recommend you do a project that would harm you in any way, uh, which is why we mentioned your personal protection. So I uh, got my gloves on. I'm stirring this carefully. I'm scraping the sides and pulling up. That's but she's doing. not whipping it. I'm not whipping. I'm trying my best not to whip it. And the reason she doesn't want to do that is it will stir air into it and there will be bubbles in it. So do not whip it. Yeah. Now, Becca mentioned a great point. Uh, I mean, with AV resin, you're going to mix bubbles in here regardless of how easy you are. And that's why we're going to be babysitting this and using our um, lighter or our rubbing alcohol to pop those bubbles. Now, I've got to be honest with you. This looks way cloudier than usual. I'm afraid that this could be expired, Becca. How do you know that? How do you know that that has happened? We bought that when we... But it's never been opened. I'll look at it in just a second. Yeah, okay. I'm not super concerned. Again, <clears throat> we're doing a really light coat of resin as well. Like I want to cover the bottom and then cover my flowers and then let that be that. So make sure you're scraping the bottom and mixing this really well. Uh, if you have a cup that's too small for your resin and you're not able to mix properly, move it to a bigger a bigger um, bowl or a bigger cup or something. The only thing is make sure it is can be washed quickly or can be disposed of or it's designated for just resin because you don't want to like drink out of this. Megan says just to keep stirring yeah. that it'll clear up. Do what? Megan said just keep stirring. It'll clear up. Oh, well, I mean, I, it looks like super, super, super cloudy, Megan. Like I've used AB resin. It does look cloudy. I don't see any expiration date or anything on it, though. And maybe not. Maybe it's just me being overly cautious, overly worried. Uh, you're going to you're gonna want to overmix. You, you think you're going to want to overmix. You can't really overmix this AB part resin. But just keep stirring. You want it well combined. Someone asked if it's a one-to-one -one ratio. It is. You want completely equal parts of one and the other. It looks yellow. That's the thing. That's interesting to me. I don't know, Megan. Let me look in our drawer. Our drawer of goodies here. So we do have this AB part resin that looks... I might honestly mix this up. Mix them up side by side and we'll yeah, see Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. So that's good and that's mixed and that's stirred and you might be thinking, well, you got to use a hurry because it's going to set. It's not. I'm going to continue take, to stir that while you do that one and just It's going to take years for that to set, not, not literal years. Okay, so I'm going to use this resin that we got. I have no idea where. Now, I'm not knocking off the amazing clear cast. What I think is that it might be old, to be honest with you. It, so. it is clearing up a little bit, but it's still cloudy. Yeah. Fix me a hair word. So we're just going to mix up this and the same little same little deal here and see if this mixes any clearer and then we'll go from there this is just me making sure that we're using a good product for you guys I wouldn't want wouldn't want it to look bad wipe that off okay same thing I'm just gonna pour to the 40 and then pour to the 80 these little cups are nice. I love these little cups. We normally just use those uh, mouthwash cups. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot better. Oh, this is clearing up. Yes, Miss Linda, reminder, 94 watching and only 42 likes. Hit the like button. I love it when our members call people out for that. Yes, thank you. You guys are the best. Filling it to the 80. It's a lot clearer than this one, though. Like, just from the beginning. I think that one's expired. Or, like, but had this one is clearing up. Again, I have no idea where I got this. I just know it's been in the drawer forever. I think we got, like, a... A kit. Yeah. I think it may have come with the tumbler turner. Oh, 
that's cool, Mary. So I've heard to put, I've heard put in a hot water bath, like in a bowl while stirring. That might work. Huh. I've never heard that. How neat. I haven't either. Rach, tell them what um, exciting resin thing we have coming to us. What do we have coming? That box. Oh, gosh. I was like, do what? It's coming tomorrow, actually. Yeah. I'm so excited. Guys, we bought a resin curing box. So it wasn't as expensive as you're probably thinking. It has 16 LED lights and a um, like a rotating disc on the bottom to perfectly cure UV resin projects. And tumblers and because tumblers, it's, yeah. it's like 13 inches high. And the I think the tallest tumbler we have is like 11 point something inches. But it's absolutely amazing. It's going to be great. So I'm going to be doing some, of course, some review videos on it, some organic content on it to be able to share with you guys all the in and outs of it so you can make an uh, informed decision on if you need to purchase it or not. It's really exciting. It is so exciting. I had never seen and it's one. it's like portable, so it doesn't, you don't have to like just, you know, set it up and leave it there. If you only do resin projects like once a month or something, it folds down pretty flat and can be stored pretty easily. Okay, these are looking this one, like yeah. the same. Yeah, either one you want. Yeah, okay, so these, these both are looking really good. This one, yeah, they look pretty good. We found it on Amazon, Cat. It was like 70 bucks. 70 bucks, yeah. Now, there are smaller ones out there. Um, some with more reviews, because you guys know Amazon reviews matter to me. I mean, I want to see what people thought of it when they purchased yeah. it. Yeah. But um, the one we bought was bigger. So I went through a bunch and decided, kind of like the sublimation printer thing, I don't want to purchase it if it is not going to accommodate all the projects that I want, because I'm not right. going to spend that kind of money on something that can't, can't accommodate. So I, we opted to spend a little bit more money for the bigger box to hopefully be able to um, use it for most, if not all, of our projects. So it's, it's super exciting. I'll I'm go ahead and link it. it for you all, but yeah, we're definitely doing a review. I mean, it's coming tomorrow, so we'll be doing, when does the, I don't know when it goes out. It'll be soon. It's 80 bucks, not 70, sorry. 79. Yeah. Oh, no, it says currently unavailable. Oh, that's okay. It said that for me the first couple times I looked at okay, it. Okay, I'm going to yeah. still link it, it for you so that you all cart. can look at it. Yeah, it sat in my cart for weeks before I even ordered it. And it, like every other day it would say unavailable. And I kept thinking I'd have to order another one. Um, it does that. I don't know why. It's one of those pesky little products. Okay, so I guess we procrastinated enough. Are you nervous? It's going to be fine. Yes, it's I'm nervous. I'm only human. Okay, I'm going to get me another You'll stick. You'll just do it low and slow and steady. Yes. It'll be fine. Now, if you guys need to move anything around, I recommend using a Cricut tool. And you might be thinking, no, don't get resin on your Cricut tool. You can ha take some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel and wipe, wipe this off of anything. Before it's cured, you can basically wipe resin off of anything. So, oh gosh, I'm nervous. Can they see this good? My yeah. Tray? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. You're so gonna I'm do gonna good. do a super, super thin stream, but I'm gonna try and hit all of these flowers so that they'll stay where they are. Here we go. How's it going? Good. Oh, it's not moving. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mix up some more, which is good that we already have some pre-mixed. Oh, let's stick down, stick down, stay down. Oh, this is exciting. Do you want me to mix more, or do you think that one other I one is good? Use that. What do you think? I don't know. Do you think? I don't know. I mean, you can use it, but do you think you'll need more than that? Oh no, I don't think so. Okay. I would much rather have to remix some, like after this, guys, than then the already pre-mixed yeah. too much. Okay, here we go. That went well. It did. I thought you were going to get a little bit of, I mean, I, I knew, I didn't think you would get a lot of movement, but I thought you would get some. Now, I am going to have to slowly rock it back and forth to get some of the corners and stuff. Is that enough, Rachel? I can't tell here how deep it is. It's not a big deal. We could mix more. Oh, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably have to mix okay. some more, which is, again, not a big deal. But My gosh, this is so pretty. What are we going to do with this? Something awesome. It's so pretty. I'm just going to use the same resin cup. 
I can't read the numbers. I love it. I've seen phone cases done this way, and now it makes me really want to do one. I've also seen some really that's what weird we bought phone it cases. For, wasn't it? We that did, one? yeah, and then I was I didn't do it. Well, listen, when more fun things come along, it's hard to we're only two people, you know. Kim said, OMG, just joined the live. Rachel, this is so cute. Isn't it so cute? That's okay, Tracy. You can go back and rewatch it. Um, Trisha said, fingers crossed, listening while at work, trying to get caught up after vacation. Trisha, um, did you go somewhere or were you just off for the holidays? What'd you do? Um, yes, we're going to put more in there. Da, 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 da. What a professional technique, Miss oh, Carol what? said. You guys. Pro professional. You guys. Now I'm going to spray that what's down there with a little bit of rubbing alcohol to get those bubbles to pop while I'm mixing this up. I uh, missed the very beginning. Will it soak into the wood? No, it will not, Georgie. No. Maybe some permanent vinyl with a Mother's Day sentiment. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I'll just leave it and put cute things on it, like a candle and a love note it's, to Rachel. So, Well, you know... Love note would be nice. I know. I made Rachel get this B napkin holder thing that was really cute because I told her I'd put love notes in it, but I've only put receipts in it for her to, to put in the ledger, which, by the way, Rachel, it's the end of the year. Um, we got to get our ledger in order for our accountant. She's going to be mad. Is that that Google sheet? Yeah. 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 yeah we need to reconcile our account. Good. Yeah, I... Uh... I'll probably help you with that because it'll take forever. I definitely didn't do that. That's okay. In uh, what was it, like June, I want. Like, we got all you. I yeah. can do that. Yeah. I'll probably start like at the end of the year, and you can start at the front, and then we'll just meet in the middle and call it a day. Yeah, we're we're decently good about putting things in. I'm not good about putting Amazon in, but I'm good about putting all the other stuff in because Amazon it's really easy just to go back and like find the list of stuff that you purchased. But like things that automatically come out. Not really great about that. What? I didn't even know we had to put that in there. Yeah. I mean, every single thing that's in our bank account needs yeah. to go on that ledger. Yeah. yeah. So, sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Are we going to have a Valentine's Day event? That's a good question. Well, yeah, of course. I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll do something around Valentine's Day for sure. Okay. Do I need to move any of these? I don't think so. Okay. Yes, this would make a beautiful set of coasters. Uh, wonderful collaboration between both on the random. Thank you, Miss Susan. I know, Megan, we do need to get on that. I knew that you would be very disappointed in us. So, yeah. 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 It, it happens. Did you just throw the cup away? Yes. Are they well, not reusable? I, I mean, I can... Oh, no, no, it's fine. I thought those were the only ones he had. Oh, no, we have more. Okay. We have more. Okay. I can still get them out and no. clean them. No, 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 no. My hands. <laughs> Kat, today is National House Plant Day. Right in fact, Rachel, I wish we had known that when we were viewing our podcast. Recording our podcast. Well, we did talk about that. We did. So, Rachel, what are you spritzing this with? This is rubbing alcohol. Where is my... But rubbing alcohol helps with the boogles. Megan, you know I've told them that like twice this live. I feel like you're not paying attention. Well, it's not me that's not paying attention. I Rachel. think you know we I get think repeat. It's you. you know we get repeat questions here. Guys, don't try to make her feel better. <laughs> Some of them here's the only thing. Some of them have been like, "Help! I want air." So I'm just okay. There is a hole up. To the right, yeah, to the right of that, top right of that, like right there. Is it him? Uh, maybe move the pink over off of the... He's pretty there, though. I know. Should we just put another one in there? Okay. Okay, quit before you ruin it. Yes, ma'am. It looks great. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to clean off my weeding tool. Is it easy to see the bubbles, Rachel? No. Meaning, it, meaning the if the bubbles were there, would it be easy to oh, see? Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. Now, you can go in there, like I said, with your um, lighter, 
Ours doesn't work. Get one that works. Do you works. want the torch? Is that the torch uh, one? Yeah, it's okay though. Okay. And you can pop the bubbles or again, like I mentioned, wait, there's one that's not submerged. Don't kill me, Becca. Don't kill me, Becca. Does Those alcohol have submerged. to dry up before curing the UV resin? I tried the alcohol on the UV resin. It was very wavy. Uh, Ooh, it shouldn't be. It you shouldn't might have been be, using yeah. too much. Make sure you have a spritz bottle and not like a, like mist. Make sure you have like a mist spritz bottle and not like a regular like kitchen cleaning bottle type thing. Because they will put out a different um, amount of product, and you want a very light mist. So when you spray this, you can't tell on camera, but here in person, I just see all those tiny bubbles dissipate, which is exactly what you want. Uh, so I didn't have to rock this tray back and forth because we added that third cup of resin, which is perfect. So like, that's it. My only biggest tip for you guys now is to protect it from dust or your kiddos or your pet hair or anything like that because it's very vulnerable at this state um, to the elements in the dust and the dirt. So you want to make sure that you're protecting it properly. Uh, so if you have like a 9 by 13 cake, hand lid and you want to set that over just something to protect it it's not going to suffocate it where it won't cure it can still cure totally fine so how long does it take to cure about 12 hours to to the touch but fully cured in about 24 um you can paint it before stain it before or like i'm probably going to do wait till this dries and then paint the lip and the sides a really pretty color to balance out that natural wood in the middle whatever you want to do again like i mentioned in the beginning of the video be very careful if you do get a cheaper type of wood tray because like ones from the dollar tree they use glue to put all that together and if you stain it the stain will not take where that glue is so if the glue looks a bit messy then your tray will look messy too if you try and stain that i've had that happen to me before so do watch out for that yeah um yeah that's it cover it keep it nice and safe and let it, let it this is a great question is a cure time based on the thickness of the resin so all the cure times here are general just like with uv resin we can't give you a specific cure time um at the 24 hour mark it should be cured whether it's an eighth of an inch thick or two inches thick honestly it should be nice and, and hard and cured uh, if it is not and it feels like it's still goopy after 24 hours and it's this thin, it means you didn't mix it properly, which is very sad, which is why I sat here and mixed till my hands almost couldn't do anymore because the more you mix, the more you incorporate the two together because if you don't and there's like streaks of part A or streaks of part B that you're pouring, it's not incorporated, it's not gonna cure because you have to activate them together in order to start that curing process. I've done that a lot myself. Um, so it's no secret. I mean, epoxy resin is a bit more finicky than UV resin. I mean, UV resin is literally pre-mixed in a bottle with like a little spout, squirt it and go on your way, cure it super quick. But we wouldn't want to use this amount for AB part resin. So we're using, we're using this instead of, uh, UV. So it's a little bit more finicky, but, uh, I've worked with it for years. I enjoy using epoxy resin. I'm not sure what the deal was with that looking odd, but it looked like, We've mixed two different kinds of resins in here, epoxies now, and, and it looks, looks totally fine. It was crystal weird. clear, totally fine. Um, so it might have just been me a little over worried about it. Babysit this every hour or so if you're home uh, and you can come by and spritz it with alcohol or use a blowtorch or a lighter right on the surface to pop any bubbles. You might see them, you might not see them. After it's cured and you run your hand over it, if it's not perfectly smooth and you feel a bunch of bubbles, uh, that means you could have done that a little bit more. But I would say up to the six or seven hour mark, it won't come up and bubble up anymore. Because um, I just really want you guys to have success with this. So, yeah. Okay. Any other questions today? Um, Kat gets bonus points because she did notice that our disco ball made it on the set. My disco ball. Yes. Yeah. Okay. She, we, we reverted back to the original set, which most of you probably are just so used to you didn't even notice. Well. There are a few changes. No, there's not. Becca put this up. Okay. She was looking at a reference photo. I was so helpful, was I, Becca? Well, yeah. No, was, she was. was the massive it. difference is the huge, huge long paintbrushes in the top that weren't there because <laughs> Rachel ordered paintbrushes and I was like, Rachel, don't get skimpy ones. Get really nice ones because I'm sick of having ones that fall apart. And, and she did. And she and I are really, really, <laughs> really bad about reading. And so they're like a foot long. Uh, but I really like them. 
The other thing is that we put the sublimation oven on the set because we love it. And our disco ball. Nothing's in the exact spot it was on the paperboard. I was going to compliment you about 30 seconds ago and say that you overthought where everything went. Uh, but now that you commented on the paintbrushes that I purchased, nothing's where it was before. I think next Every time I'll let you do off. it. I, honestly, they probably are if all shifted like the Amazon one way. product description said nothing about the length and the photos were cut off at the bottom so it didn't show that they were a foot and It's a half true, long. but you could I have to be honest. And use it as a torch. That thing is so long. Um, Rachel and I are talking about Bob Ross a lot, you know, because we're talking about dressing up like he and his son. Did you all know that Bob Ross had a son who also paints? Don't Google it. What's his name? Steve. Steve gonna let them answer. Uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Anyway, he always had long paint rushes, so we can't channel our inner Bob Ross if we have short paint rushes. I think you were doing us a favor and didn't know it. I think I was subconscious. Yeah. I want to be connecting. Bob for Halloween, and, and Rach is gonna be Steve. I gotta work on a couple of things. You gotta get those really great glasses. I gotta work on a couple of things. Yeah. Steve might be a, a buck fifteen soaking wet. So also, I he's a man, so there's I that. To, I need to work on my hair. Yeah. I need to work on my glasses. Steve's hair is almost as long as mine. It's long. Steve, Steve's got some long. Now, Steve's got great hair. For that matter, Bob's is probably as long as mine. It's just afro. So, I, I'm going to have to afro my hair. I'll need to get some sponge rollers. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Happy little trees. We don't make mistakes. Just happy little accidents. Except I can't paint, so there's an issue. You know, I took a, uh, I took a painting course in one summer when I was growing up. I really need to bring those in to show you because I still have them, by the way. I still have all of my assignments from the painting course I took, which would, I mean, you guys are just going to be blown away. Blown away. Oh, gosh. No, I love Bob Ross. I like to watch The Joy of Painting. It's very relaxing. I watched it when I was a kid because we didn't have cable. You never missed it. Yeah. That and The uh, Price is Right. I never missed one. Price is Right. What was, that? What's the, what was that old soap called? Passions. No, the other one. The ones that I watched was Passions. I wasn't allowed to, and I did it anyway. It had a it has an hourglass in it. Days of our lives. Days of our lives. Yeah. That's the one I was thinking yeah. of. My days, little Jerry. Days of our lives. My little Jerry. When I would come to visit her, um, it doesn't matter if I hadn't seen her in six months or if I hadn't seen her in two days. If there was a soap on, she was glued to that soap. Yeah. Oh yeah. That my mom was the same way. She would come it. to my house and she was like, "Well, I gotta go." And I'm like, "Why?" And she was like, "My, my shows are gonna be on." I think that it's that's there. And they're acting and the camera angles. It. Oh. It's this, and, and here's the thing, the really funny part, and everyone says this, the really funny part is that like you could not watch it and then watch it in six years and everything, like you didn't really miss anything. <laughs> it's, it's not true. like you have to catch up. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here. This was a super fun live. I learned some stuff while you guys were learning some stuff and you guys helped us learn some stuff. That's kind of how it is around here. If you like projects like this, just like simple crafts. Like we didn't break out the Cricut machine. We didn't do anything super complicated. We just had a couple of supplies. If you like projects like this, you would love Oak and Lamb. We love to inspire you guys all the time and make you laugh and help you create things that you might not have had the confidence to create. So whether that be a Cricut project, a project like this, if you work with uh, screen printing or a laser cutter or sublimation or sewing or woodworking home decor anything like that that is what we do here we love to teach people how to craft in general uh, join if you haven't we have a link down below for you and Becca has popped some links in the comments we would love for you to be a part of our flock today we have some great resources like cut files commercial licensing and some member only resources like a new course that we launched uh, our O&L Cricket Academy, that is for all beginner cricketers. It is exceptional. It goes through everything you need to know to master your machine inside and out. There's a book you can print out with so much good stuff in there. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we also have a member-only Facebook group that most of our members say is their favorite perk of membership. It's incredible. Uh, join if you haven't already. You can join monthly or yearly. Nothing gets kept from you if you are a monthly member. Everyone has the same amount of amazing perks, no matter what tier of membership you have. Ask any questions that you have about membership or about this craft or whatnot. We're going to very carefully put the rest of these flowers probably in their little pouches to see if we can use those for another project. I'm going to dig those resin cups out of the garbage and clean, <laughs> clean those off. And um, yeah, anybody have any questions about anything?
Wishing the flock a super week. Thank you so much, Susan. Thank you for teaching us something new, even though it was scary and a little, a little unknown for you too. You're welcome, Miss Linda. We don't want to encourage you all to do things that we wouldn't also like do, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I made Rachel sew on a live, and she did great. I did good. Right. I made some bibs. She did great. Did Charlie ever wear that? I didn't get them back. Oh, because I took a photo. Yeah. I'm sure he'll. You'll have to have another kid. I'm sure he'll. Yeah. That's the answer. Yeah. Done. For sure. Done. Yep. Love the Facebook group. Got to get on there more. Life is busy right now. Christina, we totally understand. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It's a free way to support us here at Oak and Lamb. No cost to you. It takes two seconds. Um, and if you want to do something that supports us the most, join the membership today. Also, Becca does have a really great uh, Illustrator course if you want to learn how to design your own cut files. It's like Illustrator for Dummies. It's incredible. 33 videos in that course. You get basically Becca. If you have any questions, you get her, the actual teacher, here to answer them. There's also a private Facebook group just for ticket holders of that course. You get it for life. It's amazing. So all that's linked down below. We hope that you guys have a great day. Tomorrow you will see a pre-recorded video, and then we'll be back Thursday for another live. But I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday, and we will see you back here live on Thursday. Bye, everyone.